What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a benchmarking test comparison between Realme 8 5G, Xiaomi Poco M3 Pro 5G and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 5G smartphone. All of them are powered by the same MediaTek Dimensity 700 5G processor. They got Android 11, Full HD Plus screen and the only difference is in terms of RAM and storage. Realme 8 5G got 8GB RAM and 128GB storage. Poco M3 Pro 5G got 6GB RAM and 128GB storage and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 5G got 4GB RAM and 64GB storage. So let's see how much all of these hardware specs are going to contribute in the benchmarking score. So the benchmarking applications we got today here, they are N2D Benchmark, Geekbench 5 and 3D Mark. So first of all, let's start with the 3D Mark. So the Redmi Note 10 5G got 2459 in Slingshot Extreme and 1101 in Wildlife. Poco M3 Pro 5G got 2,483 in Slingshot Extreme and 1,109 in Wildlife. And talking about the Realme 8 5G, it got 2,509 in Slingshot Extreme and 1,117 in Wildlife. So the winner is Realme 8 5G. After that, it is Poco M3 Pro 5G and then Redmi Note 10 5G. The difference is very less between all of these three smartphones in both Slingshot Extreme and the Wildlife, but still Realme at 5G is at the first position, then Poco M3 Pro, and after that Redmi Note 10 5G. Let's go back from here and let's have a look on the next test, and that's going to be the end to the benchmark. So in this Realme 8 5G scored 359,721, Poco M3 Pro 5G scored 330,945 and the Redmi Note 10 5G scored 246,385. So this time the difference is huge between Redmi Note 10 5G and the other two devices and there is a reason for that. If you go to the individual test score result, here you can see that the GPU result is missing for the Redmi Note 10 5G. For some reason, even though I installed the Antutu 3D benchmarking for the GPU testing, it kept asking me to install it again and instead of installing it, it forced me to install Antutu 3D Bench Lite. And whenever I ran the test on Redmi Note 10 5G, it always skipped the GPU test. So this is the reason that the GPU test result is zero and the overall score is less. So let's compare the other three tests, the GPU, memory and UX for Redmi Note 10 5G. So here you can see in CPU it is scored 99,028, Poco M3 Pro is scored 98,773 and Realme 8 5G is scored 107,691. And all other three tests as well in GPU, memory and UX performance of Realme 8 5G is better compared to the other two devices and if you compare between the Redmi Note 10 5G and Poco M3 Pro 5G then in memory and the UX performance of Poco M3 Pro 5G is better compared to Redmi Note 10 5G but in CPU Redmi Note 10 5G scored more point compared to Poco M3 Pro and this time the difference is a bit much when we're talking about the memory and UX because the Poco M3 Pro got more RAM, more storage compared to Redmi Note 10 5G and that's contributing in the benchmarking test score result. So once again, we can consider Realme 8 5G as the winner, then Poco M3 Pro 5G at the second position and Redmi Note 10 5G at the third position. Now talking about the last test for today and that's going to be the Geekbench 5. So this test is divided in CPU and compute and the CPU test is divided in single core and multi core. So Redmi Note 10 5G scored 549, Poco M3 Pro 5G scored 556 and Realme 8 5G scored 571 in single core. Talking about the multi core, Redmi Note 10 5G scored 1712, Poco M3 Pro 5G scored 1747 and Realme 8 5G scored 1773. So once again the difference is very less between all of these three smartphones. But once again, the pattern is same. Realme 8 5G is at the first position, then Poco M3 Pro 5G is at the second position, and at the third position, it is Redmi Note 10 5G. If we go to the compute test score result, once again, the exact same pattern, first position, second position, third position. 
So as you can see that even though the devices, they are powered by the same CPU and GPU, the OS optimization and the memory along with their storage is playing a part in gaining more benchmarking test score result. So this is the reason that Realme 8 5G is always coming at the top position with 8GB RAM and better OS optimization and then Poco M3 Pro with 6GB RAM and then at the last spot it is Redmi Note 10 5G with least amount of RAM and also the storage. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. And I'll see you guys next time in an another video. Have a nice day.